Monica, sight for sore eyes. I know you've been busy, 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 but it's so good to have you back on the mothership on the world's greatest network, MSG PM. I know we got a long night ahead of us. I know you've been busy, but please tell us what we got on tonight's show. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a bunch of things on tonight's show. ESPN and basketball analyst and Olympic hoop analyst Fran Trichilla is coming through. You know we got to talk about the New York Giants with host and reporter and our girl, friend of the show, Madeline Burke, will also be here. And we've got Dr. Nick Elam. And yes, hoop fans, you might recognize Elam from the Elam ending, made famous in the TBT and then, of course, the NBA All-Star game. Um, so we've got a loaded show, cast. Shall we jump right to it? Please, let's jump right to it. I'm sure you got some good news to share with me. So please, let's kick it off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we start with up all night or do not disturb. The first question, per reports, Kaz, Kimba Walker is headed to the Knicks per reports. And now, up all night or do not disturb, we have a true solid point guard. Yes, and I'm glad you prefaced it with, with per reports because it's not officially official yet. But, Monica, I'm so up all night for this because Kemba is coming home to the Garden. I've seen him destroy the Knicks for the past better part of a decade. I've seen him light up the Garden as a member of the UConn Huskies. And God willing, his knees and his legs are holding up because we have suffered. <laughs> New York City has suffered through so much point guard in accuracy and ineptitude to be blessed with a possibly healthy Kemba Walker and Derrick Rose lighting up the garden at the point guard position. I could not be happier about this, Monica. I'm up all night. If there's anything past up all night, I'm that too. Lord, please make sure okay. Kemba's healthy because we need that. <laughs> uh, I'm up all night as well. And it's funny because as this was started to percolate, the first thing I thought about was the Big East Tournament versus Pittsburgh, mm. the crossover step back, the dagger, and that incredible run that Kemba went on to in, to in his college career. But this is a dude that still is a four-time All-Star. And yes, last year was a little bit rough on his body. If you listen to some reports, he would have gotten his surgery at a different time, depending on if or and the NBA season was supposed to start at a different point. Remember, we were in where we heard rumblings about that negotiation as we all navigated uh, trying to get things done through COVID. And so, to me, I buy that Kemba is a guy that is focused and loves his game and loves his craft and is willing to sacrifice in the mold of someone like CP3. Now, I don't know if that means that Kemba's going to go vegan, but do I think that he's going to do everything in his power to bring himself back to that all-star form? Yes. And so I'm with you, Cass. Up all night on this even be And even better than that, Monica, we got him for cheap, too. Thank you, Oklahoma City, for the buyout. Appreciate you on that one. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mad at that. All right, let's keep it moving. Up all night and do not disturb. The 2021 Lakers, boy, Club AARP, are basically the 2004 hey, hey, Lakers. be nice. Cass. Be nice. <laughs> Monica, I am uh, do not disturbing this one, okay? I remember the aforementioned 2004 Lakers team with the end of the road, uh, Carl Malone, Gary Payton almost at the end of his run, prime Kobe, prime Shaq that ended up running into a bus hole with that Detroit Pistons team, right? I have a feeling that this is going to be very be different great. because everyone is re waiting to see how LeBron James makes this work. And I'm sorry, I know Father Tom is undefeated, but I'm going to go ahead and believe that LeBron's going to figure out a way to get all of these pieces and all these personalities to work under one roof and get another chip. It kind of feels like the Expendables, right? They got all the old school action heroes all coming together for one <laughs> last expendable. job to finish it off, you know what I mean? So I need. I, I, I hope they do well. I hope it works out because, man, that has a lot of star power. But I'm just not disturbing this one. They're going to they're gonna do a lot better than the 2004 Lakers. Is dead. The 2004 Lakers got to the finals. You, so you, you got this But they winning? didn't win. But they did not win. That's what I'm saying. Listen, you got this group rare. winning. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Especially coming out the West, I definitely have. If they go up against any team, possibly Brooklyn, even with Brooklyn, I don't know. I could see them winning it all, definitely. But the, the 2004 Lakers team, there was so much dysfunction. There was a lot of things going on with each of those players that I'm not going to mention right now. So it, I, I think it's a little bit of a different situation than this current ideation of this Lakers team. All right, so I will give you, I think the spirit and the camaraderie is different from that 04 group. But in terms of that 04 group being successful but not necessarily getting it all the way done, I'm kind of up all night on this one. Here's the deal. 
Yes, we still buy LeBron James, but we've seen in the last two seasons, he is no longer invincible and injuries have gotten to him too. The young star that's supposed to lead these men and a child shall lead us is uh, kind of fragile. <laughs> I love AD, but he's seven foot and has lower extremity injuries and it often misses time. So I'm just honestly concerned about the durability of this unit. Mm. All of y'all, oh my God, you said it, not me. But all of y'all can't <laughs> not play in January because we're playing for the playoffs. Like, I just, yeah. I am, I love it and I hope it works out. But um, yeah, I'm up all night on this I one. Love I, it agree with this I love it for Carmelo. All right, let's keep it moving. I love it for Melo.